Hey, welcome back everybody to Five Questions With. I'm Mike Throne, President and CEO of the Chillicothe Ross Chamber. And today we're here on 4th Street with Hummel and Plum Insurance Agency and Jason Itell. Jason, thanks for having us in. Thanks for, thanks for coming today. First of all, let's start off with like the basics of where you're at and uh, what you do and things like that. Okay, first off, Hummel and Plum Insurance Agency. We're an independent insurance agency. We've been around since 1904. We're the largest in Pickaway County. We have branched out to have, for one time we had four locations. We have the Circleville, which is our main office. We have a branch in Chillicothe. We have a branch in Asheville. Recently, we had shut down a branch in Mount Sterling and we had moved the Mount Sterling clients to our Circleville office. We feel that it's important for us to have different locations for our clients to come see us. What's a fact about Hummel and Plum that maybe people don't know? Our longevity. Um, I know a lot of times that people can affiliate your name with something, but we've been around a long time, um, like 1904, so 118 years. I remember celebrating our big 100 years here when I first got started in the business, which was a big thing in our industry. Being the largest in Pickway County, and we're in the top 20 of Central and Southern Ohio's in like Business Digest and Business First as of size and service. And insurance can be kind of a confusing topic, but as an independent agent, how do you assess a client uh, with their insurance needs and work to get them the coverage that they need? The first thing you want to do is you want to assess the client and you want to see where you're at. Insurance has many different factors from your age to your credit score to your driving record to the kind of car you drive everything's rated upon a symbol um, the higher the symbol the more expensive it is to insure because it's more likely to get stolen more likely to get totaled in case of an accident so they look at all these different factors and variables there's thousands upon thousands that all go into an equation so the first thing that I like to do is I like to see what I am working with as a client to see where the best fit and being independent gives me more options than any other insurance company that can offer you only one price. What are some common, common coverage gaps that you see and how do you fill those gaps? Gaps um, can be very, very tricky. First thing I, I try to explain to my clients um, is talk to me like we're friends, talk to me like we're normal, like I've known you for 30 years, which a lot of people will say, I just need insurance so I can be legal. A lot of times when you look at the state laws, the state laws require that you must carry 25,000 in property damage. Now, if you look at 25,000 in property damage, most trucks or vehicles or SUVs are 50 to $60,000. Now, you wouldn't have enough money to cover that if you would hit someone with an accident. So what happens is if you carry these limits that make you legal when you think you're okay, you're gonna end up being sued or your wages are gonna be garnished for the remaining amount of money that's not covered. So buying a better coverage will put you in a more, more preferred program, which in turn is gonna give you better coverage, it's gonna give you better options, and it's gonna save you more money. And some other gaps that we have, um, extorting when you say gap, you wanna talk about gap insurance. Number one question that we get is when you're at a dealership and the dealership's trying to get you to buy gap insurance. Gap insurance is something that's gonna cover you. Is there a gap between what your vehicle's worth to what you still own on a vehicle. Now I always tell everyone that if you have negative equity, then purchase the gap insurance from the dealership because it's gonna cover the negative equity that you're gonna trade in. But if you are just regular gap insurance, you can purchase that through your insurance company that would cover the remaining amount. So if your vehicle's, if you owe 10, but it's only worth nine, we're gonna cover the difference for you on that. And it's usually a less expensive ride than, or amount than you're gonna pay from your car dealership. Looking at the given trend in today's society, homes are selling for more. You, uh, contractors are charging more. The price of lumber is more. So you want to make sure you have gaps on this. And there's other ways. A lot of our policies that we have for homeowners will give you a 25% extended coverage, which will go 25% higher than what you're actually covered if needed. You're an independent agent. Independent. Why do you think that independent <clears throat> agents can offer better customer service? There's three ways you can buy insurance out there. There's what you call uh, direct, captive and independent. Direct means you're going to call a 1-800 number. You're going to do an app on the phone. You're going to fill out an email and send it back. You're going to have none of the personal touches with that. Now, captive is the other way. Captive is your, your local ones that you see the commercials on TV for. And it's all the big names that you've heard of, but they can give you one price and one price only. Now, being independent, we represent a whole bunch of different companies. So we have some of your bigger names like your Safeco Liberty Mutual and your Progressive and your Travelers that people are familiar with. But we also have the A plus rated companies such as Westfield and Hastings that we can offer different rates. Once we access your stuff, we can figure out which company is the best for you. One company might focus more on credit score. Mine, one might say, hey, we don't mind older homes. One might like country homes. There's all these different things that everybody's different for and having more than one price 
is something that is very important for us to be able to shop. You don't want to be forced out of renewal if your renewal increases. One of the things my staff uh, can do is they can shop you with different companies, always make sure you're paying a good rate. So it's nice to be able to shop in-house since we already know you rather than to go somewhere else and to constantly trying to change insurance companies, you know, the, the, to being familiar with your client. Yeah. Your team seems to be really invested in the community. What are some ways that you give back? One of the things I always like to tell my kids and I tell my family when we you know, pray at night is, bless others the way you've been blessed. Being in the community for 118 years and you know, sharing support from everyone around us, we want to give back to as well. Just recently, we always throw in a giant Christmas program or Christmas party for our employees to celebrate the year and the stuff that we have. It's something we do. I love giving back for kids and toys for tots and stuff like that. We do a gift exchange. We raise a ton of toys this year to give back for that. Or we have legacy of caring programs. We give out grants. We give to food shelters. We give to the different women's groups, local little league or softball team. We always have a Hummel and Plum team that sponsors them. Or we we have your uniforms on the back, and uh, we try to reach out to all the, the local areas too. We try not to focus on one. Uh, we want to give back as much as that we can. And we also, you know, I know Hummel and Plum, if you go down to, I know it's not in Chillicothe, but in Circleville High School, uh, the baseball stadium is named after Hummel and Plum. We had donated to them so they could upgrade their stadium, and it's called uh, Hummel and Plum Stadium now. So that is something that I was very passionate with, with sports and kids, and, and just whatever we can do to give back. And I know we're really looking forward to doing more and more for the community. It's something that we really pride ourselves on. And uh, Drexel Pulling was the owner for 47 years previous and he still currently is very involved in it and I consider him still a part owner. And he is very, very involved in the community um, with the different boards and the stuff with the pumpkin show and you know all these different organizations that I couldn't even tell you how many he's involved in. That And he's really good, He's a, he was very gracious owner and did a lot for the community and gave a lot back and I'm going to continue that tradition as what he did for the 47 years. That's great. Jason, I've learned a lot today about Hummel and Plum Insurance Agency here on 4th Street, 96 4th Street? Yes. Man, I can't believe I got it right. I got it wrong all day long. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. We're going to have more five questions with coming up soon.